this is Paramdeep from Pristine and in this session I'll speak about the financial modeling school its curriculum and its details the first thing that I'll speak about is about the organization Pristine and about what has happened in the first batch regarding financial modeling school then I'll cover the basic topics that are covered both in the financial modeling school as well as in the project finance uh, classes then we'll speak about the methodology of training what kind of cases we take up and what kind of class projects are you expected to build and post that I'll speak about what you can expect at the end of the course so in the first batch of financial modeling school we had around 105 students who learned the art of financial modeling essentially we created two large models one was based on a case study and one was based on uh, a recent um, a case study on FMCG sector so the large uh, capital raising plan that we had taken was essentially based on Coal India Limited which was the largest IPO in India the initial public offering so we created a completely integrated model again that was given as a homework to you and uh, we guided you build that particular model and one model one large model that we took was essentially based on uh, a case study on the FMCG sector how you would go about creating a large financial model for that apart from that we took many small models so we had a model on credit risk that essentially spoke about using uh, uh, array functions in excel we had a model on uh, depreciation and deferred taxes we had models around uh, creating charts waterfall model etc so and the other thing that we knew, we uh, sort of need to take care of is that we built all these models step by step so this is what the people had to stay regarding the school they found the course to be excellent uh, some of uh, them had requests uh, about topics that we had not already covered in the course and we tried to adjust as much as possible so I'll pause here for a moment and you can, took, you can take a look at what people had to say regarding the course Apart from the uh, financial modeling school, we have also conducted trainings around financial modeling in Excel for some of the top corporates in US and India. We have done that for Bank of America, we have done that for JP Morgan, we have done that for Mizu Bank, for HSBC Bank, and some of the top B schools like IM Calcutta and FMS. So we have experience around conducting trainings around financial modeling in Excel uh, that, that's varying across. Uh, corporates across um, uh, across various good B schools like National University of Singapore I'm Calcutta Ernst & Young those are some of the names that you don't see on this slide but again we have conducted trainings around financial modeling in Excel for them as well Pristine is also an authorized training provider for CFA Institute which conducts the CFA examination for GARP which conducts the FRM examination for Premier which conducts the PRM and the APRM examination and FPSB India which conducts the CFP examination so these are the authorizations so we are all authorized training providers for these institutions that conduct certification around uh, the, uh, the around the finance area and we have been authorized by them based on our content etc let's take a brief look at uh, what kind of uh, topics are covered in the financial modeling school and uh, and and we will sort of uh, try to understand why the topics uh, flow in this particular uh, uh, in this particular fashion so to create the integrated valuation model we start by designing an efficient layout post that we uh, build the historical statements then we build the growth drivers based on the historical statements then we build the assumptions for the model we build the P&L and the balance sheet uh, we build the asset and depreciation schedule that cuts across the P&L and the balance sheet we build the debt schedule that again cuts across the P&L and the balance sheet so for example in the debt schedule your debt is in the balance sheet and the interest is in your profit and loss account we build the equity and the retained earnings schedule so uh, the retained earnings flow from the P&L to the balance sheet we construct the cash flow statement then we see there's a circular loop in the cash flow statement and uh, and the interest that we build 
we analyze the uh, the uh, the model using the ratios we build the discounted cash flow we build uh, valuation using uh, comparatives and finally we show in the form of a nice chart called the football field so you wait here for a second and i'll show you what kind of a model we had built in the class so this is the final model that we had built we started with the historical statements for the pnl and the balance sheet so these are two statements that we started with post that we saw the historical growth drivers and we created the assumptions about the future then we built the revenue cost debt assets equity and we projected the pnl and the balance sheet in future we created the cash flow statement analyzed these statements using the ratios did the valuation using the discounted cash flow method did the valuation using uh, comparatives created a football field to show as a nice chart apart from that we also analyzed uh, 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 using the uh, scenario analysis what kind of effect the terminal growth rate and the vac could have on, could have on my valuation built a dashboard uh, about the analysis of the company and did a monte carlo simulation to figure out what could be the uh, rate of uh, return ratios if some of my assumptions change so this is a completely integrated model that we had built and if you and if you notice uh, this this model runs across multiple sheets so that's a big part that we would build step by step in the actual course this year along with the uh, uh, financial modeling school we are also launching a project finance mo financial modeling school in this particular course what we would be doing is that uh, we would be creating a completely integrated financial model for a project finance uh, uh, exercise as well we would be taking a real estate case study for the project finance financial model i'm just highlighting the main steps that are there for the project finance model that we are going to build essentially some of the nuances we would build so for example the key concepts like uh, interest during construction also known as idc depreciation and deferred taxes deferred taxes and loss carried forward cash distribution as there are multiple parties involved in the project finance model so we would be seeing how each of them protect their own interests how such a model is built such that uh, Uh, the the interests are saved for each of the parties involved if there are delays in the model if there are delays in the project how they are modeled and how does the bank uh, protect its own interest by creating a reserve account called the debt service reserve account so we would be taking a commercial complex as a case study and then we would be going and building step by step the completely integrated valuation model for a complete commercial uh, complex Now that you know what we are going to build, let's figure out how we are going to build this uh, this step and 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 what are the various steps that are going to be followed uh, to uh, 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 during the course as well. The first thing that we would be giving you is essentially a case study around which you have to build the full integrated valuation model. What you would be given is essentially a login ID and password. and all you have to do is log in into the uh, the system and get access to the complete course material that is there so a week by week a complete material would be given to you and along with the uh, material a newsletter would be given to you which would essentially guide you on uh, uh, on the various steps that have to be followed uh, uh, to make sure that your understanding is maximized For example, if I click on the week second second week's uh, newsletter, what I'll be shown is uh, what are what are the various parts that have to be covered, how I should go about uh, covering those parts, what are the broad learning objectives for the week, and what should be the sequence in which I should be going and then sort of uh, looking at my videos, looking at my course material, and what exactly should I achieve. from all these uh, uh, all these uh, lessons apart from that if you click on any of the weeks learning objectives so for example if i want to see how to build the balance sheet assumptions all i have to do is click on the build balance sheet assumptions and it shows me what exactly are the um, are the uh, learning objectives for this lesson you would be getting a video here and apart from the video you can download the excel templates 
and you can download the video as well in case you have opted for the download video session so you are shown uh, the video you can uh, see the video out there itself you can download the video and you can download all the excel templates that are there from pristine so that's a recording of me speaking about the course itself similarly i can click on the uh, excel template and i can save the excel template on my uh, on my pc and then start working on the template if I double click on this, what I essentially get is the unfilled template for that particular lesson. What I need to do is that I need to look at the video, understand what's being said there and fill this complete template. To check whether my results are correct or not, all I need to do is download the filled template and then figure out whether the results match with the, uh, uh, with the expected uh, uh, methodology or not so all I do is that I click on the uh, instructor uh, video that's instructor sheet that's the filled template for the excel template that was assumed to be there so what you need to do is look at the case study understand the case study then go to the video lesson download the excel template try to fill it and then compare whether your results are matching the expected results or not so just to summarize, the first part was essentially understanding the case and the discussion. The second part would be going to the lessons of that week, looking at the video, downloading the Excel templates, and then filling them step by step, and then checking whether your solutions match with the suggested solutions or not. What you would finally be getting is, is the complete um, is the complete integrated valuation model along with nice charts and nice formatting. So what you would also be given is, is, is the homework to get a completely integrated valuation model in place. And in the end, when, so once you're through with the completely integrated valuation model, what you would be given is a nice certificate of participation. So this certificate is issued by uh, by two uh, organizations that are very well known in the in the field of financial modeling, Chandu.org and Pristine Careers. So essentially, just to summarize, the methodology of training would be through videos, Excel templates, screencasts, test posts, and what you can do is whatever doubts you have, you can uh, put them on the uh, on the blog on the uh, blogs as comments, and we would try to solve as much as possible. So, for example, you could have your own doubt or your query and what we would try to do is that we would try to uh, solve the query and then, uh, and then make sure that whatever your questions are, they are all answered. Just to summarize, what you would need to do is create uh, uh, two, uh, two cases and a complete valuation project in place. Uh, towards the end of the financial model uh, modeling course, what you would be able to do is one, you should obviously be able to understand how to create a completely integrated valuation model. You should know the fundamentals of uh, financial analysis and you should be able to an analyze financial statements. You should understand the process of valuation capital raising. And finally, if you are able to do all this, you should also get a certificate of participation. Along with the certificate of participation, there is another optional certificate of excellence as well in which you have to create a completely integrated valuation model on your own and submit it within 30 days of the completion of the course. So this is me, Paramdeep, uh, who would be taking you through the course uh, completely. Uh, I have worked as an investment banker with uh, Standard Chartered Capital Markets. I have uh, worked with Accenture Management Consulting as a consultant. And I have been taking these trainings for various corporates, as well as the first batch of the Financial Modeling School. Uh, I have done my MBA from IIM Indore and I've done my engineering and mathematics and computing from IIT Delhi. This complete learning would be uh, conducted over a period of uh, 10 weeks wherein we would be giving you material to go through, we would be giving you Excel templates and post that for 6 months you would be given an online membership wherein you can uh, always download the material and, and come back with uh, your queries and we would be more than happy to answer whatever queries are. A similar schedule goes for the project finance uh, course as well. 
I do hope you have got an understanding of um, of how the financial modeling school is going to be created. What exactly you would get out of the school? Uh, what are the exact steps that you that we would be following uh, uh, so that the learning uh, is is maximized and you are able to gain the maximum out of the time and effort that you spend here? As usual, if you have any queries, uh, you can always write an email to me on paramdeep at eduprestine.com. You could visit uh, chandu.org slash uh, WP to, um, uh, to, to look at the course. You could give me a call on plus 919-289-298-0608. Alternatively, you could also call Chandu for any doubts that you have. Uh, I'm sure you would gain a lot uh, uh, by joining the course and, uh, and you will enjoy the course uh, to its maximum. Uh, in case you have any doubts, feel free to get back to me and I'll be more than happy to answer your queries. I look forward to seeing you in the uh, school. Thank you and bye-bye.